What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Really excited for today's episode, but I honestly don't have a lot of time to make things happen, so we gotta make something happen quick. If you look around, we have some overcast and cloudy conditions it's actually drizzling just a little bit, and that's because, well, there is a big old storm coming this way, and it's set and it's scheduled to hit us within the next hour. So I have traveled over here to a trout river, and I'm gonna try to catch me a limit of trout before the storm comes. And here below the, or above this bridge, I've caught a lot of fish here in my life. It's usually a pretty straight up foolproof area where there's a lot of trout to catch. Um, normally just stock of rainbows, but there's always that chance to catch like a big rainbow or a big, big brown. So we're gonna do our best. I've got the, oh gosh, don't fall in. I've got the ACC crappie sticks in hand. This is a really great rod to use for trout fishing. This is the six foot six inch medium. I normally like to use the longer rod, um, but I decided to give the six six a try. Should be no big deal. Um, the water conditions look great. It's not flowing super hard, but we're here where we got a little bit of current. Anyways, guys, this should be an interesting one. I'm seeing trout jump right now as we speak. So I'm gonna get after it before the storm comes. If y'all are excited to join along with me on this bridge, river, trout fishing expedition, do me a huge favor, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and let's see if we can get ourselves a stringer full of trout to take home for dinner. Let's go. So we're down here in the river, start off by rigging up my trout magnet. I always start with this one or the pink and orange one. This is just, you know, a pink and white laminated standard trout magnet. I like the gold head. It's a, it's a 64th ounce, so it's pretty light. I'm just going to rig it up. Whenever I'm rigging up laminate baits, I always rig it up to where the light side is on the bottom. That's just how it would be in nature. It's called counter shading. Um, so you'll notice that, you know, a lot of different fish species, and just in general things that live in the water their backs are always gonna be darker than their bellies so you want to mimic that as closely as possible so with the pink on top white on bottom and i try to keep them as straight as possible you know they sometimes get a little bit kinked up in the package but that should be fine and right now i've got my bobber set on there about two feet deep the water looks low you want the spade to just barely tick the bottom so we'll start with that if i'm not ticking the bottom then i will deepen it up just a little bit in general, I either want the bait hitting the bottom or I want it to be like six inches right off the bottom because that's where the trout are normally hanging out at. And that's gonna look the most natural to them. And so right here, I've got a really, this is like a pinch point. So the river is up there, you got a bigger pool and you can see it narrows down here to this bridge and we've got a little bit of a riffle. So all this faster current, which it ain't that fast, it's coming right through here is you have to have current really for the trout magnet to be the most effective. You just want that thing to just drift and I just kind of mend my line like you saw right there. That, that just means you turn the line over so that the line kind of stays above the bobber. Because if it's down below the bobber, um, it causes it to, to pull the bait faster and keep it off the bottom, which we don't want. We've got, I mean, the most ideal trout conditions ever right now, but we just don't have a lot of time because there is a big storm coming and it's definitely coming. There is no doubt about it. Oh gosh, look at this. What? That is crazy, look what I just found. I literally just found a whole pack of trout magnets that somebody left down here. The 152 piece kit. Oh my gosh. Look at all those jig heads, are you kidding me? Guys, this is not mine. <laughs> wow, okay, well. I guess it was floating on the river and got stuck right here or somebody just left it right there. I'm gonna hold on to it. If somebody comes down here looking for it, I'll obviously give it back. But if not, I have got a new pack trout magnets and I got all those jig heads, which is honestly the most important thing for me. What a find. I'll try right here underneath the bridge. It's starting to rain a little bit. Okay guys, I'm not sure how this happened. My camera just shut off mid fighting this fish, but I got my first one of the day. And it's a nice rainbow. It took way longer than I thought it was gonna take. Hopefully it doesn't come off. Look at this, beautiful rainbow trout. You're coming up here with me. Stay on here. I'm out here waded out in the water. I think my boots actually have a hole in, but look how beautiful this fish is. Oh my gosh. Guys, look at the spots on this thing. What a gorgeous rainbow trout. He's almost kind of kiked up a little bit. Looks like a male fish. 
he's really cold and uh we are going to get him off the hook and on the string i'm actually probably gonna put him on the stringer before i take him off the hook since i'm already out here all right just like that we've got our first rainbow trout of the morning sorry that i missed the hook set on that guy i definitely didn't mean to we're set up we got our trout strapped on to our zipper loop down here and we're going to hopefully catch ourselves another big trout right now there's a trout swimming right there oh my gosh he's feeding on something about to catch you about to catch him feeding on a trout magnet hopefully there he is he ate it oh he's jumping there we go <laughs> i don't know if that's the same fish or not but that came from the same spot as the last one not as big but we'll keep him for sure there we go a nice little rainbow yeah baby all right definitely not as big but definitely as beautiful man it's really pretty they like this aqua kind of teal color they kind of match the color of the water the water is clear but it has a kind of a blue tint to it especially on a day like today when it's cloudy it looks really blue but another one on the pink magnet might just take them a minute to figure out that they wanted to eat the things i've been fishing for about 20 minutes without having a bite and that's two bites on my last three casts so we're gonna get this trout on there he's not super big but i like to eat him this size okay fish number two on the stringer we've got two little beautiful rainbow trouts i think i'm gonna give this pink one one more cast and then i'm gonna swap up to another color because they're not biting it that good two bites in 30 minutes really isn't that great so my tackle box is all the way over there which ain't that far but conveniently enough we found this guy and it looks like all the baits are in pretty good condition um i'm gonna try just a straight white one i've got a buddy who swears by the white magnet i've caught some nice ones on the mag on the white magnet he swears it is the ticket out here even though i outfished him the last time we were out here with the pink one but at a different spot on the same river he was smoking my cheese with a white magnet so it kind of goes to show you just from spot to spot they might prefer one over another from day to day and there's been some days out here where i've only caught them on a bright chartreuse one so you really just never know and what's good about those trout magnets is that they come in like 50 different colors and usually those kits come with you know a dozen or so different ones and on any given day at least one of them is going to work i'm going to lift my bobber just a little bit fish this little bit deeper hole right here in front of me so something else to talk about i really like these uh, these snap-on um, small weighted bobbers just because it helps you cast these magnets a lot better a lot of times when i'm bank fishing for trout you know i'm required to make a little bit longer cast um trout magnet actually makes a bobber which is really good i use that bobber all the time um, but it's not as easy to cast a trout magnet which is just because the trout magnet is so light so i like these little bit heavier bobbers just to kind of help get the bait out there a little bit easier and just make it easier on you throughout the day Got him. The white one did it to him. The white one did him dirty. <laughs> How big is he? Come here, little baby trout. Gotcha. There we go, fellas. Third rainbow trout of the day. And I think that was my first cast of the white one. I'll have to go back and check and see, but there we go. He's a little bit smaller guy, but I'm going to keep him. I'm going to keep him. But I think if I catch another one that size, I'll probably throw it back because I want to make sure I have plenty of fish. And it looks like I'm good as far as the weather goes. Nothing too crazy is, you know, evolving in the sky right now. But so far, my catch has gotten smaller each time. I ain't mad at it, though. Three nice little trout. And they're going to be good eating later on. And also, guys, I've thrown that pink magnet. I probably made, you know, 50 casts through here. And they've seen it a bunch of times. So I think just showing them something a little bit different um, also helps a lot. So... If I don't get any more bites with this after a few casts, I might swap up to another color just to show them something different because I know there's there's got to be plenty of trout in this little hole for me to catch. There's always going to be, you know, food dripping down there to their faces. Food like a trout magnet swimming down there to their faces. <laughs> nice. There we go. I'm going to let this one go. He's, he's basically smaller than the last one. So let's wet our hands. I think it's always important if you're going to be catching and releasing trout to wet your hands first. They're pretty sensitive fish. He's a little tiny guy. We'll see ya. But if you're planning on uh, catching and keeping a trout, 
I say squeeze the crap out of them because they're slippery. You don't want them to get away, especially when you're out here over the water. Just, <laughs> just death grip them. Hey, there's a trout. Finally, finally got another trout. Oh my gosh, it's been forever. Finally got another one. It's starting to rain. Oh, that's a good one too. That right there will work right there, fellas. Nice, he got a little bit of grass on him, but that'll work. Look at that, couldn't get anything on the white anymore, so I swapped to the pink and white like I had at first, giving the best of both worlds. And we finally got ourselves another nice keeper rainbow. That's our second biggest of the day. And there we go. Stringer's looking a little bit better. Look how dark it is out here. It's unbelievable how dark it is. It's just really cloudy. There's a lot of fog. I just feel like something bad's starting to brew. <laughs> Okay guys, well I think that's just gonna about do it for us out here fishing the river over here by this bridge. Um, man, this definitely was not the most banger day of trout fishing. Not really what I was expecting. I thought I was gonna do a lot better given the conditions that we had today. I mean, these are the kind of conditions you wanna be fishing in. Even though it's a little bit risky and you can get a little bit wet, um, usually the fish bite pretty well. So I'm just not sure if they're just not hanging out in this stretch of the river right now or maybe they haven't stalked much recently. But I mean, we pretty much did what we wanted to do today. I mean, we got... We got dinner. <laughs> We've got four um, decent trout. We got one right there on the bottom that looks pretty good. Um, they're all gonna be really tasty. Um, I guess we caught five total, so I guess we did catch a limit. I guess I should have kept that one that I threw back, but I was feeling pretty confident that I was gonna easily get um, another decent one. But regardless, it was fun, but it just started lightening a little bit. And um, you know, I don't really mess around out here on bodies of water whenever it's lightning. I've seen too many trees and things get struck. And uh, you know, the fishing today really isn't that good, so it's not really worth it. If, they, if we were crushing them, you know, maybe we would go hide up underneath the bridge and cast from there, but um, yeah, y'all can pretty much tell it's, it's raining pretty good now. I don't want to damage or ruin any of my camera equipment, so we're just gonna take these fish that we got. That's plenty enough for dinner. It's like two for me and two for Jay, and uh, take them back to the house, get them cleaned up, get them cooked up. So I guess that I will see y'all once we get back to the house. Okay, we made it back here to the house. We got our trout here on the cleaning table. It rained on me the whole time I was driving, but quit raining, so figured I might as well get these guys cleaned up. But here are our fish again. There's our biggest one. He looks so cool, he's so dark. Could just be from being out of the water for a little bit. But anyways, we're gonna start off by cleaning these fish. I always like to show you guys how I clean these guys because it is just so easy, and I just feel like anybody could do this. I mean, it's literally so, so easy. We're gonna start off, you want a sharp knife, you're gonna start by taking the head off. You don't even have to take the head off if you want, if you don't want to, but I always like to cut the head off. Just cut the head off. My knife is not the sharpest, but it's sharp enough. And then you're just gonna gut your fish. You're usually gonna stick your knife in right here. This is the vent, the butt. And I don't normally recommend to cut towards you. So we'll cut the right way here. It's kind of slippery. All right, so we got our belly cut open. And then you just remove all the guts just in one motion. There they are. Nothing to see there. And then what you'll see is once you open up the trout, you have that kind of like mucky kind of bloodline or whatever that is, and you just rake that out. It's kind of messy. You just take your thumb, scrape it out, and then all you'll want to do after this is just rinse it off with the water hose or in the sink, just get it all clean off, kind of rinse the slime off. But that's essentially all you have to do to clean a trout. Cut the head off, pull the guts out, and then rinse it off, and you're good to go. All right, so we got the trout all cleaned up. We are here in the kitchen, or out, right outside the kitchen, and we have our trout here on a sheet of aluminum foil. We got them seasoned up, and we're about ready to throw them in the oven and cook them up. Let me show you guys how I got them seasoned. Pretty much my standard stock way of seasoning trout. 
I'm missing a few veggies just because I didn't have any on hand, but we have our trout. I have the meat scored, meaning that we have it kind of sliced up a little bit so that all the flavor can soak inside. We got some butter on top of the trout, underneath the trout, a little bit of uh, lemon olive oil drizzle on top, and then they're seasoned up with the goat of dry seasonings. If you like some Cajun hot dry seasonings, you gotta try out the Slappy Mama. That is the juice. And uh, we got it all up inside the trout too. The only thing that would make this better is if we had some real lemons to show up in there, maybe some onions, but we just didn't have any of that on hand today. But this should be good, it should be tasty. We have our oven over here, preheated to 400 degrees. We have some more trout, we have other two trout here. And we're going to put them on this pan. We're gonna put them in here for 45 minutes. And when they're done, they're gonna be delicious. So let's get them in the oven, it's wasting time because I am getting hungry and so is Big Boss. So let's get them in on that and in there. Okay, the trout are in the oven and the countdown begins. We're going to uh, figure out some side dishes to go along with the trout. And um, man, just can't wait for the, the smell of the trout cooking to start kind of seeping out of the oven and filling the house up. It's just, it's just a wonderful thing, it smells so good. Okay, we'll see you guys when it's all cooked up. Look at this guys, 45 minutes later and this is our finished product. We have our Slappy Mama seasoned rainbow trout and it looks like the meat is just flaking off the bone. We're gonna give it a try right now. I think it's gonna be delicious. I don't even know where I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go right here. We want some skin. We want some meat. We don't want no bones. Unless I could all peel off the bones. Oh yeah, here we go. Ugh, that's disgusting. I'm just kidding guys, that is so, so good. That is the reward for going out early in the morning, beating the rain, staying out in the pouring rain for a little bit at times, and um, harvesting us some nice little rainbow trout. I wish we could have got more fish, but at the end of the day, this is what it's all about, catching your own food. You know, we caught these just yesterday, and uh, now we have them on our plate, and they are going to be very, very delicious and quite nutritious at the same time. Get a little piece of just the meat. Look at that. Mmm. That is so good. That is so, so good. I could eat like 10 of these things. But with that, we are going to actually continue making some sides. I didn't get around to it just yet. I'm going to warm these sweet potatoes up in the microwave and have them to go with the trout. But um, yeah, that's going to do it for today's episode. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me down at the river. I wish I could have caught more fish, like I said, but at least we were able to catch a few hungry rainbow trout on the little trout magnets. We'll have to go back out either there, probably not there, probably somewhere else to do some good trout fishing here really, really soon so we can get some more of these trout. But if y'all enjoyed the video, do me a huge favor, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you on the next one. Bye, guys.